Ladies and gentlemen, the last number in our show this evening is called Somebody Else Not Me. And I believe that was first presented by that celebrated showman, Mr. Burt Williams of the Ziegfeld Follies era. Later, it was made popular by Mr. Phil Harris. I first did this number way back in 1951 at Stewart and Company Department Store in Baltimore, Maryland. Well, that was a long time ago, and this is probably going to be the very last time I do this number. It's getting, uh, it's getting too much for me. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, here's somebody else, not me. Great moments come to every man, some situations where he can attain such fame that folks acclaim at the very mention of his name. Now the circus played out of town one day and three Bengal tigers got away. The manager looked right straight at me, says he, now here's your wonderful opportunity. Somebody's got to get them cats. Somebody's got to go. The tiger man is sick in bed. So now just put on your hat and coat, he says, because the man that gets them cats alive, a hero's going to be. Well, I think it's going to be a wonderful opportunity for somebody, but it's going to be somebody else, not me. Two ivory bones with ebony dots oft times lead to cemetery lots. Now a game I played last night brought on a fight and a body on the floor lay dead. And through that transom, some fella says, now the man that stays behind and sees it through and informs them officers when they arrive, how come this here dead brother ain't alive is gonna gain notoriety. Now mind you, I ain't scared, but I am discreet. And besides, I've got a wonderful pair of feet. Well, I think it's gonna be a wonderful opportunity for somebody but it's gonna be somebody 